Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today you're going to see how I use and store my makeup in the new house. And I apologize for the filming. I was filming on my cell phone and I tried really hard to be steady and I failed horribly at it. Um, but at least this will give you ideas. Someone asked me how I store my makeup, so this will give you an idea of how it goes. Uh, I, of course, did not set up, like, I'm not finally set up. It takes me, I don't know about you guys, how long does it take you to set up a house? I've lived here for a month now, and it definitely takes me, like, six months to fully settle into a house. So things are still going to change. Like, I think this office room is going to change because my husband doesn't like the way it, it's kind of laid out. And I agree with him. It's kind of going to be better elsewhere. It's just going to be a lot of work to move it. And then I probably will kind of fiddle around how my makeup is, but, and I probably need some more storage solutions, to be honest with you, because I got like a drawer that I've never had before that I gotta figure out what to do with in our bathroom. But this will at least give you like a little overview. And in case you're wondering, most of my like organizational things, like you'll see a basket underneath my sink that came from Walmart. I have um, like a chest of drawers, that's from Ikea. I bought mostly all my stuff secondhand, so I'm not 100% certain where I got everything. But like if you see like trays or stuff like that, they're either silverware trays or I got them from the dollar store. Um, and I've got one long burger basket to hold my mascaras. But that's it. It's really simple. It's nothing fancy. I just got a lot of it. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. This is my setup in the bathroom. You can see it is not organized at all. But we have the palettes I'm currently using here. <laughs> um, makeup sponges, and I, I used to clean my face with this, but you'll see in a second I switched it. My current perfume, lip products I'm trying to use, a hair, just like everyday stuff. In the backyard, I've got like eyeliners, liquid lipsticks, and those Mally sticks for eyeshadow, hair clips, samples I want to use up. I should actually do another quick use up of those because those are getting like crazy. My makeup brushes that I don't need to wash, <laughs> the ones I need to wash are uh, in my bedroom. Foundation that I haven't used in months. <laughs> this is what I'm currently using to clean my face. This is the Tony Moly Minions Cleansing Wipes. Actually, they're not bad. They're not like the best I've ever used, but they're blue, so it makes it hard to see if I actually got it off my face. Dry hairspray, lotion. I just got this from my uncle and I really like it. It says for like, you know, like after sun lotion, but it's really good. Deodorant and a lip gloss I just don't have space for right now. <laughs> That's it. And then in the sink down here, I need to organize this a little bit better too, but it is what it is. I've got like feminine supplies. Those are the Shiseido cotton, which I love. Loofah and then backup like lotion, hair stuff, mask, shampoo, extra hairbrush things like that and then I do get one drawer here which I don't okay guys if you guys have these drawers like these small ones in the middle how do you organize these I've just thrown stuff in here but like do you put a divider in here like what's going on oh I can move those to the other side but like hair ties face mask, like things I use regularly but like I don't want out how do you organize that q-tips that's my sunscreen like I, I want to know because right now it's just kind of like a hot mess in here and I don't know what to do about it. Like if I stand everything up, as soon as I close it, it falls down again. And it's just, it's not enough where I can put it away because I want it close. So now we're in the basement and that is where my two kind of cubbies go. So you can see, I still have boxes in here to go and some chairs, but that's gonna be my craft stuff there. And then here is my makeup setup that I put just for you guys. Picture of Keith and I, hey. All right, so in here, it's the same setup as before. Fragrance, single eyeshadows, blushes. Fragrance, eyeshadows. I have these out because I wanna use these for the holiday. Um, I love that blush palette and I just wanna get good use out of it. This spilled during the move. It's like my one casualty I found so far. <laughs> it's all gone. So, sorry Dolce & Gabbana, Dolce, like, that didn't make it very far, <laughs> and my stuff smells. This is pretty much all the same as well. You got your lip products. I did change the mascara bin, because the one I had in here was too big, so I just got those little ones there. Lip glosses, crayons, back there I've got some extra fragrance. Then I've got, this is, once again, it's very similar, um, 
my eyeshadows seem to have exploded in here, but highlights, bronzers, blushes underneath there, primers, powders, foundations, eyeliners, cream products for eyes, glitters, and then this is my liquid lipsticks. And then lastly, but certainly not leastly, this is a giant demi john that I found in Germany. <laughs> is my skincare up oh, demi john needs to move. This is all my skincare I currently have, so I definitely don't need any more of it. But I've got like face masks, blending eggs, blenders, 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 eye creams, night creams, serums, extra brushes. These are all of my moisturizers. These are, and last but not least, are my makeup sprays. So definitely don't need any more of this. And that is my current setup. And there she goes. I told you it wasn't fancy or anything but it does work out. If you want to see like a fuller video of everything that I own, let me know. I can do collection videos again. I think my last one I did was two years ago, so I probably could do an update because of all like my empties and things I've used up. I've got a lot more space in my collection than I used to, which is awesome. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you won't rest your day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.